Today you're behind the scenes, you're right on my shoulder as we photograph a wedding out at Pretty Place Chapel. Uh, you do not want to miss the first look with Corey and Gabby and then their vows to each other. They were absolutely incredible. So stick around. So uh, this wedding was unique at Pretty Place and they didn't have the cross out. Uh, not seen that before. Uh, it was cool. You got to see the entire, you know, nothing down there. You got to see the entire background. So that, that was neat. Um, and as you can see, it was much more clear than last time, which was nice. Um, you know, not a lot of uh, details. Again, like I said last time, this is just a location that is typically smaller weddings quicker um type weddings so usually not a lot of details to photograph so we just i just shot the scene essentially here got corey out he was ready first um yeah corey is such a fun guy um, super high energy i love getting to know i've known gabby for years and then meeting corey uh and getting to spend time with him was it was so cool and so started out with corey um, I don't know what to do with my you know, I think our relationship allowed us to joke around and get a lot of funnier pictures. You know, we're not funny pictures, but pictures like this where he's very relaxed and able to let go versus real like stiff and, and uptight. So it was it was real nice. Put your here, got him kind of leaning in a little more uh, swag in his picture here. You know, oh, yeah, it helps go. loosen Corey. up, helps relax. Corey. You know, get a couple now of really cool shots guy. of the groom. That's Pretty always sure. my goal is to make the groom look really cool in his pictures. Um, oh, no, you will not. And then, of course, Can his bridal cherished that forever as well. One of my favorite parts of Pretty Place is that there is uh, no cell phone service out there. So everybody there is not really in tune. Uh, they're not checking social media, you know, emails, phone calls, any of that. They're, they're there to take it in, and it's oh, so cool. Just, yes, that is a steep drop, but we were very careful, always are, and you can just see how scenic it is out there. There we go. Now, moved him forward a step. Um, you could see it just for a second there. The sun was just cutting across his face, so I wanted to get him more into the shadows, so had him step forward. Um, you're also going to see that I, I did play with depth of field a little more. I stopped oh, down a, a few times what during this wedding um, to bring in some more details. That background deserves, in my opinion, to be more than just uh, a blurry bokeh. I think you know showing some of the details in the background adds something. Um, and so I did play with depth of field a little bit here. Um, was it all just F18 or F28, anything like that? Like a groom. So I did a few static poses of Corey and then got him moving around a bit. Yeah, just kind of checking himself out. Move around all you want to. Type of picture you would typically do maybe in front of a window, in front of a mirror, you know, if you're inside somewhere. Um, but I think it still works well out here. And, Again, keep it in mind. Do you need a watch? Anytime you can keep your your model, your always, people it, moving, um, I think you know? I mean, helps them stay relaxed and get, get good this. photographs of them that way. Oh man, yeah. I will. We only get one shot though. Yeah. <laughs> Gordon, you want to come down here with us? Are you Are you scared? No. You good? Come on, baby. You're an artist. You know, I don't want you to get out here and get all nervous, you know. Yeah, you're good, man. Nothing makes it better than the thought of the chance of death. Nothing's better than the chance of dying. Gordon was his best little, man, all the grooms we have your and they have, there. yeah, a very... Very special bond, so it was it, it was nice to have you know that close something? connection, just those two, and so we, I got Gordon out for the uh, for a go. few shots. I've known him for years as well, so we were able to cut up with each other. Um, wow! And uh, yeah, man, it was had Thanks a lot of fun out there together. Turned out some great images of the two of them. Um, yeah, look at you guys. Y'all want to do something funny? Y'all got things. a funny one in just there? Whatever came natural to them. Oh, you ought to make him do burpees. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, right now we're getting ready to. Uh, I'm for, setting up the first look for uh, Corey and Gabby, and <laughs> this was one one of the uh, first look that was incredible. I mean. Corey was about to explode, waiting to see Gabby, yeah, and it was right man, now, it was so cool. His his energy was just you could feel it radiating off of him. I mean, just man, it was so cool. Um, and you'll see, I I did the, you know, I get, get a few uh, couple pictures oh. of Corey with oh, wet, Gabby, you know, kind of blurred in behind him, and then I'll get a couple of Gabby with Corey kind of framing her in the front. Dad, I'm going to get you to slide um, out and then, with you, Brian, just for a second. Like I said let me in get the last video, when you're doing these first looks, after you get these shots and you then have mom, her turn him or whatever you're, out all over the place. however you're planning to do the first look, you know, as soon as that moment begins, get out of the way. Don't stay right there. Just don't say another right word. Just there we go. move around Corey, them. And just We're happy. let the moment <laughs> unfold because uh, that's where the dynamic oh photos come from. And they will they will stop when they feel like it's time to like bring you back involved Thanks, and, and I think she'll take some more pictures. Step. She'll be happy with what she's so just, doing. So just you know, let it happen hey, yeah, once, once it uh, once it gets started. Your hair looks good. Mine or Corey? Yours. <laughs> Mine's your hair. <laughs> Don't turn around yet. Look at me. Gabby, I'm gonna have you look right back here, sweetie. There we go. Yep. And this is one of my favorite ways to do the first look is to have her just go up, grab him by the shoulder and rotate him around because then he's oh, yeah. he's there. And he's close enough he can grab her, hug her, you know, not just be back from her not All knowing right. what to Gabby, do. Whenever you're ready, um, I want you to walk. So and turn it to the way left, I recommend okay? handling it. That way. This way. Yep. Turn yeah. Turn him towards me. Thank you. Yep, that's it. Oh my God. Come here. Come around, give him the full pass. Come here. I gotta see you. <laughs> man, what a just right. <laughs> jumping up and down, man! The it was so cool that. Like, I saw a few minutes ago oh, man, what a moment! But <laughs> so yeah, from here we're gonna. I know, I like, I'm, I'm gonna take Gabby out on that rock outcropping. So are you willing um, to go over get, the You know, yeah. okay, a couple bridal portraits of her. Go um, grab that train of that dress right there, brother. Alone, and then uh, Let's do this of course, real quick. Pull, uh, pull Corey in out there as well. It just. Uh, uh, so about being out on that out rock outcropping. I mean, it's like you're on the side of the mountain, mm -hmm. and it just I'm I don't know. Okay. it's so dynamic getting those portraits out there. Oh wow! I mean, Isn't that, that view, incredible? Yeah. Incredible. Turn towards me. Okay, thank you. I was like, yeah, where are you laying me? Right there. <laughs> right there. Hey, Gabby and I. Well, just all three of us. We've worked together. We've done their engagement sessions. You know, we've we've done so much together. You know, she knows it's kind of it exactly what I'm looking for in poses. Um, You're a natural, then, Corey. Uh, Almost. You forgot so the other she, side, though. She is a bride that did not. Here we go. She didn't need a lot of direction. Uh, pretty simple stuff. She had a nice posture already. You know, um, and again, we'd worked together so much. She knew, you know, some of the basics. Um, man, look at that view. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at Corey. All right, look at me. That's enough looking at him. <laughs> Put it down at your bouquet for a couple. There we there, go. The 
I did like I always recommend there, a couple wide shots, moved in tighter. I know um, you was that way dying. you got that nice mix, to stay away that from nice, her over there. That spread for when you're building the album or just even for their gallery, you know, so they get a little bit of everything, which I think <laughs> is very crucial. <laughs> you can put a hand on butt if you want to. It's kind of creeping. She's gonna be yours, Man, I mean, you know. So genuine. I mean, those are the smiles you want. There you we know, go. That is not a fake. Look at awesome. the camera and cheese. That was like a real, like, legitimate. Isn't that? It is. I'm gonna go. Perfect weather. Okay. I thought it was. That's what I told him. It was like 20 degrees colder up here. It was awesome. All right. Let's go. You want to get tucked away for all your guests? Are so here, we're going okay. to yeah. get Gabby tucked away. Cool. We'll yes, I'm going to take some pictures of your bouquet soon. real quick. Yeah. We're a couple there. I'll bring um, it to you, okay? And I'm going to just, the only real detail she had was the bouquet. So I was yeah, going to get a few few shots of the bouquet for her. Um, <laughs> that I normally would be able to And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, from there we'll be moving on into the uh, ceremony. There. Oh, you're wearing flats. Smart. Yes. And here I'm just looking for a way to frame up the bouquet. I got it between the two placards, but then looking for a frame to get that background in there too. I thought it turned out pretty well. And here we're, then from here we're, we're starting in the uh, ceremony. Um, I, I've said this before in another behind the scenes video, um, I like to try to go wide and then tight on these shots so i do have the 16 to 35 out so that i can start out a little wider yeah. zoom in on them as i need to um and so you'll see that's that's kind of what i'm shooting on here is the 16 to 35 um, so i can get the wider scene and then move in a little tighter um, and get them when they get real close to me too which is which is helpful it buys you a few extra minutes um which can be important um on a wedding day those extra seconds to get the frames um, so to have something like a 35 you can still shoot even when they get a little bit closer to you here you know get a few frames of her starting turn get Corey's reaction and then back around to finish getting her coming down the aisle with her dad um, and then one of my kind of classic moves is right as she's passing me just turn right in behind her and try to frame I like to get the groom in between the bride and whoever's walking her down um, in this case couldn't quite get the angle right, so, but I was able to get kind of a side shot. Uh, still worked out good, still an emotional photo, which is great. And then uh, unexpectedly to me or the uh, bride, <laughs> her mom uh, sets up a cell phone on a, on a stand. Um, we weren't expecting that. Um, yeah, I know there's different ways to handle that. I, I just, I let it ride, work around it, um, you know, kind of is what it is at that point. I knew that, you know, with an 85, I can reach by it. And then when I wanted to get close, I would just get right up beside it um, and shoot, you know, around it. So uh, not ideal, but yeah, we work with what we have um, and do what we got to do. Also, I was going to take side bets on who would be the first to cry, Corey or Gordon, but they both already cried, so I guess that's out too. Um, but, but seriously, like I've had the chance to get to know these two amazing people over the last couple of years, and if you spent any time around them, you know how much they love each other. And you can just tell it from the moment that you're around them. Um, they absolutely adore each other. And I will say, you see, I have so triggers, triggers on my cameras this time. I decided to. Uh, 
switch it up for this wedding, you actually get it pretty dramatically backlit at Pretty Place. So it can be a little bit of a tricky lighting situation. Um, and so I wanted to play around with um, off camera flashes. I have one on either side um, with some mag, mag spheres on them just to pop a little light onto the scene. Um, I, th I like the way it turned out. I, I thought it gave a nice look. I didn't shoot every photo with them on. I'll kind of turn them off and on using the uh, the triggers, but yeah. Um, and again, my traditional workflow at a wedding ceremony where I can, I like to get those down the line shots of their reactions, um, you know, throughout the ceremony. Um, and then, um, and then kind of work back around um, to the, back of the uh, ceremony site to get you know the wide shots of the um, of the ceremony and then this is one of those rare places you can almost get behind them um, without without being a distraction which is nice In this shot, I decided to leave the flash in the background. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, could have photoshopped it out, but I well, thought it gave it a cool look. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, and as you're working, you know, around, and as I'm working around, and a great tip while you're working in the back, you know, see if there's a creative angle that, especially a place, you know, that you've shot at several times. Um, pretty places, one of those places for me. So I'm always looking for a new way to like a new angle that maybe I haven't grabbed. Um, here coming up, I'm gonna try to kind of frame them um, between the pillars a little bit. Um, try to get a shot like that. You know, I think that's. Something you can do, especially once you get real comfortable with a, uh, a venue, is start looking for new ways, creative ways. Um, so there I kind of framed them with the, the pillar. Um, another, again, very cool moment. Comes from having a good relationship with the minister as well. And now come the vows. <laughs> These were, man, they're special. And one thing I will say about vows or any other speech that you're photographing, typically in those like first, the first like few seconds to the first minute is when that's when the emotion's going to finally come out. So you know, kind of be ready there. Um, 
And, and so you saw that, and I was able to grab that. And again, down the line of her face, you know, while he's reading, and then get down the line of his face while she's reading. Um, those are where the most emotional photos are going to come from. Here again, just you saw the cameras change, went from some tight shots to some wider shots. Um, like I've said before, very important. You want to get the full scene and the tighter, tighter images. Um, and I've said this before, you know, as you get into the habit of shooting weddings, anyone that shot a wedding, a lot of weddings will tell you they, you get a feel for when that, when we're moving towards first kiss time. And, you know, I like to be back, um, you know, basically center aisle to capture the first kiss. Um, and so uh, that's what I recommend. You won't get to see it in this one because my GoPro decided to uh, kick it um, right before the first kiss. But um, yeah, I'll show you a photograph of the first kiss anyway. GoPro batteries never they never seem to <laughs> they always seem to fail at just the absolute worst time for me. There you go. First kiss. It was a great first kiss, in my opinion. Um, and so here, moved into uh, the uh, group, you know, family shots, you know, the more formal uh, pose pictures. Um, and this one I did use the uh, off-camera flashes a bit more just to try to save as much of that background as possible. Um, just speed lights, Godox, V1 speed lights. So, you know... Um, Nothing out of this world. I'm not bringing big lights to, to shoot that. But uh, anyway, I thought it turned out nice. And then uh, did a few more shots. But then we decided to do one group shot. All these people do have a tight bond. Um, you know, through uh, a lot of them are in fitness and CrossFit together. I make my best CrossFit joke here. That's during this uh, this setting, if I say so myself. Who's not a crossfitter? I'm not one either. It's okay. The hardest thing about but I think it's fun to, when you have uh, the big group like this, to, you know, have fun with them, try to get them to laugh and loosen up. Um, okay, one, two, three. Yeah. All right. So y'all are going to kiss everybody else, like, you know, South Carolina scored a touchdown. Go crazy. Go all right, the Dallas Cowboys scored a touchdown. One, two, three. Woo! There we go. Okay. What a shot. Nailed it. 
All right, now we're uh, we're at Bald Rock Heritage Preserve, which is down the mountain a little ways from Pretty Place. Um, and it, such a cool spot. It's uh, been graffitied over the years. Um, people continue to graffiti it. It's, you know, I think it's pretty cool to have, you know, that bride in her dress and her perfect, you know, and her groom with her. That juxtapositioned against that, juxtaposed against the graffiti. Um, so, yeah, I think it, uh, and it creates some really cool images. And it's a, another dynamic background, you know. You can see just how scenic that is um and then one of my favorite things to let a couple do especially in a moment like this is just be newlyweds like they have nothing to do now like you know they just they were you know just other than the reception so like there's nothing formal to worry about doing so just yeah like take a breath and Be enjoy being married, you know, you newlyweds for just a minute. And so that's really the only uh, bit of direction I gave here was to do that. And then uh, I came down and shooting back up at him a little bit, um, you know, making I right, guess the right. horizon line Love down and that's it. I like those made lines. for a really. Yeah. Really dynamic photo. Right, we need to do a group shot with you and Annie. And, and then, yeah, you know, here, you know, Annie and Gore. We didn't get to do any shots of just the four of them together um, at the ceremony site. So it took a minute to to do it here, and because uh, these four have such an incredible bond, so I wanted to give them, you know, a really nice yeah. photograph. That they can hopefully cherish forever um, Put your arm down, Annie. of themselves. Yeah, Unless you just want to. Like, take a little. You got a little slit. Like, let, let a little leg out if you want to. You know. Here, I'm just helping. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I've grown tired. I don't know. I just don't like the hand on hip like pose anymore you know um, I get like why that became a thing it's just not really something I think looks that great anymore um, so that's why I was giving Annie a little direction there which I think turned out a much better photograph put it in your pocket your right hand can go in the pocket uh, is it on Corey's butt Corey's got a knife at he, he, the squat game's strong Built by CrossFit. I'm built by bourbon and bad decisions. So as you can see, their wedding day, man, it was, it was incredible. Um, I thought the pictures turned out great. Gabby and Corey were super happy with it. Um, they went off without a hitch for them. So uh, anyway, I hope you found this very helpful. If you did, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. That way you can see even more uh, behind the scenes videos and other uh, photography related uh, videos as they come out. Um, again, my name is Jeff Dobson with J. Richard Photography, and I'll see you in the next one.